welcome back my friends I hope you have a great day because I do so I wish everyone that listens to my videos lectures whatever you want to call it I want all of the my students and friends to be happy so please do whatever you want to do whatever it takes in order for you to be happy because we only have one life here and um, we need to make sure it's good now before doing anything else I just want to know to show you how we can create we can generate migrations because we already have only one migration here I mean uh, not one migration we haven't created migration we just run the uh, run the current migrations I'm gonna close all of this that we worked before and so these are the migrations I'm talking about now I just want to create another table and look at this structure or the naming convention conventions they use they use create underscore users table password so let's create a table for posts right so for that reason we're gonna we're gonna use PHP artisan so if you go PHP artisan now it will give you the list and it will give you migrate fresh migrate install refresh rollback status my uh, make cedar and stuff like that but now make migration here it is like this so we're gonna start PHP artisan make migration and after that the naming convention is create create a uh, posts table and after that there are two options either will be create or it will be table now because we want to create that will be difference whatever the migration will be created creating a new table or not now I just want here to be create because I just want to create this table and equal to posts and I'm gonna hit enter now created migration and here it is let's see if you don't have it just refresh it here it create post table inside here I have up and down right so drop table if it exists post and create table post so everything is set similar like uh, the users table right now I have big incre increments inside we I don't big increments mean auto increment ID it's a big integer now in the post what we need so here how we can specify we can say I'm gonna leave timestamps I'm gonna say table and I'm gonna say string and I'm gonna say title there right very good now everything else will remain same I'm gonna show you at the end what you can use here because you can use different um, I mean there is a list of all of your available column types that you can use for example big integer big increments stuff like that foreign keys you can also add it here doesn't matter now um, we have this so we can run this migration and that migration PHP artisan migrate so it migrated only the post table because the other tables were there so if I refresh now here I will have a post table all right a post table contains only title and created and updated at comes from the timestamps from here so nothing special nothing um, I mean nothing hard so far now what we can do here also is after the running migration if we want we can roll back roll back the latest migration operation you may roll you can use the rollback so how because this is empty and by the way doesn't matter I have users with two users so it doesn't matter what I will do don't be afraid to experiment here now I can do PHP artisan migrate roll back and I can just leave it like this and it will be rolling back post table and roll back post table 
So it rolled back the latest migration operation. And, and here, before I had post table, now I don't have it. And if I refresh now, I will don't have post table here anymore, right? So that's pretty much interesting. You can also roll back and here create dash dash step and go back how many steps for example one or two or three so this following command will roll back the last five migrations right or roll back the last two one migration or two migrations so how many migrations we did have before that now it roll back jobs password stable and let's refresh this one I still am logged as user and if I refresh now I do have only migrations and user left here so because it's rollback how many migration it's counting the migration here one two three four but before I did one minus two now the last so first I done rollback take care of this part and then I, I, I did rollback how many times how many steps sorry steps is actually times so two and that why these um, uh, failed jobs and passwords are no longer there that's why I only have the user stable so that is with the rollback now there's another one migrate fresh command will roll, roll back all of migration and then execute the migrate command so let's do this now PHP artists and migrate Re there is a fresh and there is a refresh so there is a difference so refresh will uh, roll back all of your migration and execute them back with migrate command refresh like this so see rolled all of the migration rolling back rolling and then migrated now if I go back here actually the users will be empty but I need to so I have pat posts I have the users, I have failed jobs, I have the migrations, and here it is. Even the post table is included there. Now that's super f awesome. So if I want to drop all of the tables, and I can use migrate fresh. So that command will, if I use this PHP artisan migrate fresh. So this will drop all of the tables from the database and execute the migrate command. Let's hit and enter. Now dropped all tables successfully in migrating tables. Now you don't not gonna see it because they were empty here before. Not gonna see any difference. They're they are they're I mean again same, but they're empty. But it dropped all of them, it, even it's saying drop all of them. So that's pretty much most of the things that I want to in discuss here now if I go refresh the page I will be logged out because I don't have any user so we can register again user Rick hotmail.com uh, sorry this was the email actually and see a Rick oh, what happened with the password uh, remember the password was remembered somebody can hack it so uh, that's, that's no problem so now I do have only one user and here it is even the passwords are different I mean the password is hashed everything is working I'm inside where I'm inside the home uh, view so everything is working now there are a couple of things that we will discuss like adding a foreign keys but we are not there yet we haven't created uh, more more uh, tables but I'm happy with the progress we have made so far now we do have uh, four migrations we created the post table and we I will show you next time how we can alter this one or add another column and uh, we can do that through a migration as well and uh, but that will be later in order to understand things because if I do it once and after that we don't repeat them it's easy to forget them this way you're gonna learn a lot of things and uh, this will be become Laravel the framework will become very easy now 
we have four tables at the moment we have one user we could create more users uh, we can create a seeder for for the users so we don't have to type them again and we will do that in future lectures now our application is still uh, very empty we don't have anything but as we progress in the course I promise you that we're gonna build simple uh, CRUD application that will explain you a lot of the concepts but that will not be enough for when we are so this intro part is interesting but I will try add more here content because in the project some of the things we can't do all of the things but here if you know how to do it maybe you will create a project for yourself and after that you can use some of the things that we said here in the introduction so that's why I create this introduction I'm not jumping straight to the uh, project because it will you will learn a lot from the project you will learn a lot of the same things but the things that um, maybe you don't want to create that project or you want to add something more and you can find it as introduction right so maybe we're not gonna do too many migrations rollbacks in our project in uh, but now I'm showing you how you can do so what we have done this today we have talked about database migrations we created a migration we rolled that back we migrated fresh so that will drop all the table we we migrate refresh and that will roll back all of our migration and execute migrate command again and also there is a one with um, we can specify the number of steps so migrate rollback for example five steps and um, that's pretty much it also there is a one more I want to show you there is a PHP artisan migrate reset and uh, this command will roll back all of your application migrations that's pretty much it rolling back roll back and we have to do PHP artisan so now if I here we just have the migrations nothing else now I need to PHP artisan migrate and that will go look in this folder here what we have and it will it will execute all, all it will migrate actually all of this into here so let's execute very good now let's check there it is everything is there and so the user that we created Rick is not actually longer and this will log out it will redirect back to login because the user is destroyed so thank you for watching this lecture I hope you enjoy I hope you understand how the migrations are working and they're super easy super fun we don't have to touch this part the PHP my admin anymore we can do a lot of things to through PHP artisan and yeah we can uh, we can also use PHP artisan thinker that will uh, communicate or um, you know connect with our application and we can do a lot more things and you will see how that will go in the future so thank you for watching stay safe positive and see you in the next lecture